Welcome again to another episode of School of Airway. So I'm back here to confirm something that irritates me a lot. How do you confirm an 82 placement? So a very lazy attending will probably use something like this. A more advanced, technologically savvy, but still lazy attending will use something like this. Cheaper than these products or is using the blade that the person used hints a bit. Right? So someone who you do trust or do not trust in intubation, I would recommend the following. Go in, the patient int gets intubated, hopefully in the correct location. If you don't believe that it's in the correct location, confirm, confirm, confirm. Now how do I confirm placement? Yeah, you can use the auscultation. Yes, you can look for misting of the, of the ET tubes. Yes, you can look at the end tidal CO2. But stop being lazy. All right? The free hospital, someone else intubated the patient. Well, this patient's upstairs in the ICU and you're trying to confirm placement. And they, they already have a blade open, disposable or not, or something they need to autoclave. You could go very expensive and use your fiber optic to go down the ET tube to confirm placement. You can use a video laryngoscope to confirm placement. All right? And maybe use that. Uh, that disposable blade in a bag for that patient again for confirmation of placement or displacement later on. But if you use this blade, sweep the ET tube to the left, make space for your blade, and follow the path of the ET tube. Right? Follow the path of the ET tube. I believe it's in. I believe it's in. Very cheap. You've just proven it's not an esophageal intubation. Case closed. Hasta la vista, baby. Bam. All right. No chest rallies in the world will tell you if the di what direct laryngoscopy tells you that it's in, especially if it's already been placed in by someone else. Please again. I know you uh, apologize for the tone of my voice, but it's very irritating. Pediatric attendings, ICU attendings, EM attendings, always want a capnometer confirm placement. Get to the head of the bed. Stop being lazy. Practice your DL skills and confirm placement. Please come back for another episode of School Airway. Comments and sharing this video will be much appreciated. Bye.